Okay, I'm showered and I'm ready to go. Today we are going to be hitting all the bookstores in New York, except not, because that's kind of impossible. It's not impossible, it would just be a lot of work. I'm gonna be first up hitting up the Strand, which is kind of a basic bookstore here in New York City. Like, if you come to New York City and you don't visit the Strand, did you even come to New York City? It's kind of the iconic bookstore here. I don't have plans to buy all the books today, but I'm definitely not gonna say no if I want to buy a book. This year, like any other year, I'm trying to be more mindful full about what I pick up and how much I'm spending on books just because I've gone crazy in the past. So hopefully I don't go too crazy in the book buying department today. I can't make any promises though. It looks like it's cold outside so I'm gonna have to get bundled up which kind of makes me sad because I love this shirt that I'm wearing today. It just says you are not alone which if you needed that reminder today, reminder you are not alone okay. If anything you've got me okay. I've got your back. I'm also meeting up with my friend Elena today. We're gonna go and get some ramen. I've never had ramen at a restaurant. I've always wanted to have ramen at a restaurant because I love just the packet ramen, so I'm imagining that I'll really like the restaurant ramen. I don't know. We'll see today. I also have to brave the subway by myself today. I've never ridden on the subway by myself, so this will be a new experience, and I'm kind of nervous about it. I'm sure that you New Yorkers who are watching this are like, it's easy peasy, but this boy right here is directionally challenged, so we'll see how this goes. ironic that I'm staying right by Hamilton. This would happen to me. I survived the subway. I figured out where I am. Now I have to get to the Strand. So we'll see if I can walk there. I think I can do it though. I think I can do it. We got this. I'm also in the super nice park. I think it's the Union Square Park. It's pretty nice. It's a little wet. It's raining today. Not super happy about it, but we're just gonna roll with it. You know, you just gotta go with the unexpected, right? Yeah, yeah, that's what we gotta do. Probably need that. Probably that too. And yeah, I need help making decisions, so. Okay, I just did some damage. I got some books at The Strand, and I also got some books at Forbidden Planet. And now I'm going to head to Books of Wonder. This bookish adventure is not over yet. I'll be sure to show you guys what I got later, but for now, let's go to Books of Wonder. Yeah!
just left Books of Wonder and surprise, surprise, I did not leave empty handed. I'll show you the book I got later. Books of Wonder kind of specializes in children's books. So they have a lot of picture books. They have a nice middle grade selection, but it's still a pretty solid bookstore and you can find a lot of signed books there. A lot of YA author events take place at Books of Wonder. So that's why you can often find a lot of signed books there. Next up, I'm going to Alabaster Bookshop and I've never been here before. So this, Squirrel just came at me. What you doing? I don't have anything for you. Okay, please do not attack me. Please don't attack me. I don't got no food for the squirrel. Next up, I'm heading to Alabaster Bookshop. I've never been to this one, but I found it on Google and I was like, let's go. Let's go to a bookstore I've never been to in New York. Because all the ones I've been to today so far, I've already been to. I just haven't been able to spend as much time there as I want to. So it was nice to kind of take my time in these bookstores. <laughs> and it was a pretty nice bookstore. It had a really nice smell. I know that sounds weird, but it just smelled really good. And now I'm in the Housing Works bookstore, which I really like this bookstore. I've never been here before. I believe this bookstore actually specifically works with charities. They work with charities for the homeless and for AIDS, which I think is pretty dope. I'm currently waiting on Elena to get here so we can go get some ramen. I am hungry and I'm also freezing cold, so I need some ramen to warm me up. I'm still really not used to this whole vlogging in public thing. I'm not very good at it. <laughs> It was my first time having ramen at a restaurant. I'm so happy. It was it delicious. Was, yes. It was really good. It's the place I take everyone that visits New York. This place. What's it called again? Ipido. Ipido? Yeah. Come to Ipido if you want ramen in New York. Red. I'm matching. Red. I did that on purpose. I knew I was coming here. So now we're going to Books Are Magic in Brooklyn. Let's go. Here we go. <laughs> that was great.
Where did we go? We went to the Brooklyn Bridge. Yeah, we went to Dumbo, the Dumbo area. The Dumbo area. I got some matcha. I don't really know what I got. You got like a vanilla matcha the thing. Vanilla matcha thingy. It's delicious. Warm. Yes, because it's freezing but you, but you cold. Still it's not warm It's anymore. cold. It's so cold now and I'm just <laughs> yeah. drinking it, but it's fine. And now we're heading to McNally Jackson. Oh, we just went to Books Are Magic too, which was such magical. a magical bookstore. I've seen all the Instagrams from there and I finally got to visit it, so that's good. <laughs> that's the reason to visit a bookstore. <laughs> yes. Not to read. Instagrammable. But... All right, now we're heading to McNally Jackson. Let's go. <laughs> we don't have to do this. We just went to McNally Jackson Books and we had dinner, we had pizza, it was delicious. Elena keeps saying that all these places are going to be packed and then nobody is in these we're places. Going in the middle, we're going in the middle of the week where no, and it's really cold. Next Says. She keeps weekend, lying to me. They're I not busy at all. <laughs> I take him to very popular chic places and he doesn't believe me. I don't believe her. But right now we're getting boba. Yeah. Which I also say is usually super crowded. Like the line is usually out the door. Please do not show up. <laughs> There's nobody in here. <laughs> it's so empty. <laughs> no. Yeah, this place is super popular. <laughs> That's true. I'd rather it be like this yeah. anyway. I'm glad that you were wrong. <laughs> okay guys, I am back in my hotel room. Holy crap, it was a long day. I went to all the bookstores. I went to probably eight or nine bookstores today. Uh, I think eight or nine. I could be wrong. I didn't even really get to talk about all of the bookstores I went to today. I only ended up buying books from three different bookstores. I didn't like go crazy today, thankfully. I kind of held myself back a little bit, but I did get some books, so I will share those books with you now. Let's start with what I got at the Strand. First up, I got these postcards, and not because I'm going to be sending postcards to anybody, but because I really like the designs on them, and I'm going to use them as bookmarks. So that's why I got these. I really like them. They had a nice selection of postcards, surprisingly, at the Strand, and they had a lot of bookish ones, so that was kind of cool and unexpected. Then I got this pin that has a typewriter on it that says create something new. They had so many enamel pins, I was really surprised by their enamel pin selection. And this one really stuck out to me, and I just that I just had to have it. Hopefully it inspires me to create something new. We'll see about that. And the book that I got is Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. I know you're probably going, what? Why did you get that? You already have like three copies of Miss Peregrine's? Well, you're gonna have to tune into the next vlog to find out why I picked this up. Look at me building up suspense, but there is a specific reason why I got another copy of Miss Peregrine's. So tune into the next vlog. <laughs> <laughs> so that's all I got from the Strand. Now I will share with you what I got at Forbidden Planet. I thought it was really cool that this store kind of had a section for independent artists and creators. And so I decided to pick up something by an independent creator. And that's this little comic called Run Boys Run. Now, I don't know anything about this story. Like it doesn't have a description as to what this story is about anywhere, but I really liked the art style and that was kind of the deciding factor on me picking this up. So the story itself is going to be a surprise, but I'm okay with that. I just really wanted to support an independent artist. And this wasn't too costly, so I decided that I would just throw my money at it. Because I know it can be really, really difficult for independent artists, especially in these times, so I just decided to support one. So that's all I got at Forbidden Planet, and lastly I got a book from Books of Wonder. Honestly, this is a super random book, but I just saw it and I was like, I think I need to have you, even though I don't really need to have you, but I also really want you because you're beautiful and you need to be a part of my collection. And that is this Hans Christians Andersen's Fairy Tales, selected and illustrated by Elizabeth Zwerger. I totally just butchered that pronunciation. I've only read a few of these fairy tales in my time, so I figured that this would be nice to pick up and read some more of these stories. Plus, I love the illustrations, and that was honestly the selling point for me. Like, the illustrations are lit, and I needed them in my life. I had no self-control. I was really trying, but honestly, I knew deep down I was going to walk out of the store with this book, and that's what happened, okay? It was honestly such a fun day. I'm glad that I got to hang out with my friend Elena, and it was just nice to kind of explore some of the different bookstores throughout New York. I hope that you guys enjoyed enjoyed kind of seeing the different bookstores that New York has to offer. There's still a lot more that I've yet to explore and I'm going to explore some more of them in the next vlog. So stay tuned for that. But that's it for this video. I'm now going to be going to sleep because your boy is exhausted. He's been walking around in the cold all day and it's time for bed, okay? If you like this video, be sure to go and hit that like button or go and hit subscribe if you want to see more bookish content from me. Or you can go and hit that bell icon and you'll be notified every time I post a new video. As always, thanks for watching guys and I will see you soon with a new video. Bye!